All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi, and in today's video, I am gonna be discussing five things that I wanna see coming to Battlefront 2 in the remainder of the year. Now, I've done this video already, but it was obviously a little while ago now. We've had some more content added to the game since then, so I thought I'd do an updated version because when I sat down to think about this video, there was some different stuff. I know last time, you know, I wanted to see more heroes and things like that, but now my kind of attitude towards it has changed. So I figured I'd record this again with my new idea ideas for what I want to see added. Now before I get started, make sure you guys also drop whatever content you want to see added to Battlefront 2 down in the comment section below, as I always love to see what you guys think and where your sort of thoughts are in comparison to mine. It's always cool to read somebody else's opinion and kind of see where it lines up with. So anyways, without further ado and making this intro super long, I am going to jump straight into it. The first thing on this list that I want added to Battlefront 2 for the remainder of the year is going to be private matches. Now I know I'm not alone on this one. There's a lot of people that want private matches added to the game and I am definitely one of them. I think one of the biggest things with private matches is not only being able to squad up with your friends or play against your friends or you know do 1v1s against people it's kind of the longevity of the game you know once the online support has kind of died off for Battlefront 2 at some point in the future you can still come back to it load in with your friends get that private lobby and you can still experience Battlefront 2 for what it is because we do enjoy it it's a great game and we all love playing it but once that online support is gone and you know the servers start to die off nobody's filling up matches we need something if we still want to come back and play this game and I know a lot of us don't really want to go back and play that campaign all that much again because you know once you've played it through once you don't really need to play it again I've only played through it once myself and I think that was enough but the multiplayer is where the game is at its best so I think that's something that they need to consider adding private matches in Battlefront 2015 are awesome you know I still occasionally load in with some friends and do some heroes versus villains I really want to try and get a full lobby of walker assault at some point so if you guys are down for that definitely let me know because i will try and tee something up so we can get a massive match of all subscribers in a game of walker assault for 2015 so that's something that's really cool that battlefront 2015 has we can still go back to it so i think if battlefront 2 did the same thing it would be a great step in the right direction in terms of the longevity and the survivability of the game once online support is stopped the second thing on this list is going to be some new weapons there are a bunch of weapons that could still be added to the game again i bring up Battlefront 2015, but that had a plethora of weapons that we don't have in Battlefront 2. Now, the cool thing about Battlefront 2 and the weapons is that they do have attachments. So if you brought some of the blasters from Battlefront 2015, put it into Battlefront 2 and then give them some attachments, it gives us a lot more to work towards. You know, you've got to grind that weapon, get used to it again. You've got to unlock the attachments. You've got to find out which attachments are best to use with it. You know, it just gives us something else to work towards and something else to unlock in the future. And I think that would be a really cool thing as well. You know, whether you just did them by unlock level now that they've raise the cap or you do it by something like the hut contracts that we had in 2015 to unlock new weapons. Either way, I wouldn't really mind. I just really want to see some new weapons in Battlefront 2 and whichever way they go about doing it, if they plan to add it in the future, I would be happy either way. And I know a lot of people would definitely put more hours into Battlefront 2 if they had more weapons to work towards. So whether it be blasters or melee weapons or anything like that, I think it would be really, really cool. And that would be something to consider for the future. Getting to the third thing on the list, and this is something I've seen a few people mention, not a whole lot, but it's definitely cool to think about with Capital Supremacy being added to Battlefront 2 in the last few months, and we are getting the new map of Felucia coming in the future. I think something that a lot of people want to see for Capital Supremacy, myself included, is different eras for the game mode, you know, including the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy would definitely be a cool thing for that game mode. Right now, I don't play a lot of Capital Supremacy, the reason being I love the heroes from the other eras. So like, you know, Luke Skywalker or playing Rey or Kylo or someone outside of the prequel content is often who I go to nine times out of ten. You know, I don't play the prequel heroes often. I stay right away from Anakin. I'm not very good with Obi-Wan. You know, so characters from the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy are just more suited to my play style, I guess. Um, you know, I love to main Boba. That's kind of my go-to hero if I ever get the chance. And then on the light side, you know, I love playing Luke or someone like that that's kind of in the original trilogy. And I'll occasionally dabble in playing Rey and 
and a few different other characters. But I think being able to play them in Capital Supremacy would be really cool. The only thing with it at the moment is it's prequel locked. You know, it's just the one era that's in that game mode. And that keeps me going back to Galactic Assault. But then Galactic Assault isn't really well balanced at the moment. So that has me maining heroes versus villains right now. And I would love to mix it up and be able to play the other game modes as well. So that's number three on the list. Different eras for Capital Supremacy. I know you guys are going to agree with me on that one because I've seen a fair few people mention it. Definitely original trilogy first and then sequel trilogy. But yeah, you guys probably want both, same as I do. The fourth thing on this list is going to be some Rogue One content. Like I just mentioned, getting more original trilogy content would be awesome. We've had an absolute ton of prequel content lately with all the four heroes that are being added. We're getting Felucia for Capital Supremacy. We got Capital Supremacy, which is prequel locked or era only, era specific prequel content. You know, that's something that could be added in Rogue One content that would diversify the game. People loved the 2015 Battlefront's Rogue One content. With the addition of Jin and Director Krennic, as well as Scarif as a map, if they could put that into Battlefront 2, that would be incredible. I would love to see Scarif for Galactic Assault or even Capital Supremacy, Extraction, put it in any of the game modes, even put it for Heroes vs. Villains and make it a small map. I don't care. If any way you can add Scarif in, I would be really, really happy. And if you could add some heroes, whether it be Jin and Krennic or it would be someone else, you know, Bayes, Malbus or Chirrut or someone out of Rogue One, you know, that would be really cool and add a fresh touch to the game as well. Now, this brings me to my last point on the list. And this is kind of a touchy subject. Some people will agree, some people will disagree, but it's just something that I've found a lot lately. And I mentioned it just a minute ago. So if you guys were paying attention, you would know that Galactic Assault needs a massive balancing rework. There's a lot of things in Galactic Assault that make it very frustrating to play and a lot of the guys that watch me on stream know that I point these things out almost every time I play Galactic Assault. So things like the vehicles being overpowered, they kind of one shot heroes and they destroy infantry and just tear up maps and they cost next to no battle points. That's a big issue and I think something that costs next to no battle points should not be able to wipe out enemies that easily. That's just one point that Galactic Assault needs balancing. Number two, Stinger pistols are the most annoying thing in the game. And I know I'm ranting a little bit and I tend to do this on stream as well, but stinger pistols tend to wipe out heroes better than almost anything else aside from vehicles. So I think they need to be reworked or just like toned down a little bit to do some lesser damage. So that's another thing. The third one is Anakin. You know, it's probably like been mentioned a million times by different YouTubers right now, but even with all the nerfs to Anakin, I think he's still pretty damn powerful in Galactic Assault. It's his combination of abilities plus having retribution as a fourth ability that gives him an advantage over everyone else in Galactic Assault. So I think something needs to change there in order to make it more balanced. This in combination with the other things that I've just mentioned would definitely help balance Galactic Assault, as well as a few other minor details here and there, but we don't need to go into those. I think those three were the main ones. So there you guys have it. There are five things that I want to see added into Battlefront 2 for the remainder of the year. Now I get it. We're already six months into the year. There's only six months left, but you know, there's a lot of time there. You know, they can work on things. They can get stuff pushed out. We know we're getting a new map in Felucia coming in the future. Hopefully we can get some other stuff as well, like weapons or private matches or capital supremacy for other other eras, Rogue One content, or possibly even, if we're lucky, a Galactic Assault balance, which I think is very needed right now, which is why I'm mainly playing Heroes vs. Villains. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if your list is different or if you agree with what I want to see added in the future. Like I said before, I'm super curious to know what you guys think. This was kind of just a discussion video on my opinion. It's not the top priority for everyone, but it's just kind of my brain and how it works and what I think could be added to make it better. Anyways, I am going to get out of here, guys. I appreciate all of you tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on to be alerted every time I get a new Battlefront video uploaded. And you guys will be first to see that as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one and may the force be with you always. The Sith are all powerful. You are no match for me.